This is the completed um, passive volume control. The cable is about um, a couple of feet on each side with the potential meter in the middle with a shielding box. And then we have a ALPS high quality potential meter inside. It's um, two channel in parallel. Made in Japan, by the way, if that, that matters. So I mark this I as input and the O is output. So this is from the source and this one, this end to the amp. It will be used to connect this Sony SACD player to this uh, power amplifier directly. So we can bypass this Edcom um, preamp, even though this is a very nice preamp, like it costs a thousand dollars or so. But I think we are going to save the money. Just do a passive volume control, which should be sufficient because we try that passive. This has a passive function and it sounds the best uh, so we decided to go with passive and by the way the passive actually is a single-ended rca the m can do differential and this one output a differential as well but i decided to do go with a single-ended because um this person the input i studied the schematic it seems like the um single-ended uh, input is more straightforward and uh, give the minimum uh, loss and uh, distortion. So I also listen to both the single-ended differential. Differential sounds a little more dynamic probably, but it could be just because of volume, slightly larger volume. But the uh, single-ended definitely sounds smoother, warmer, and more detailed. That's the project. So finally we got this in. We have to route out a wire from the right hand side here, including the ground wire and the two signal wires. And uh, over there, the ground is connected ground and signal to signal. So this is input and this is output because this is twisting so i probably will apply some uh, silicone glue here just to fix everything in place so we can do a quick measurement to make sure by the way uh, we put you see uh, i for input and o for output input should measure again 50 kilo ohms um, as we mentioned earlier you can choose a 100 ohm um, potential meter should work as well i use 50 ohm because my input impedance 50 ohm and output impedance also 50 ohm so 50 4998 50 this is the input and output should change with the potential meter the position of potential meter this is about the middle range should measure maybe 8.4 let's see the see the other channel 8.2 not too bad let's see uh, three-quarter position 37.1 37.2 so very well balanced actually very high quality potential meter now we try to put it together in the back directly this player this is a Sony uh, CD player, SAD player, very high quality. And uh, the, the 5400, by the way, and the Parasound um, 
amplifier so we connect them directly using this volume control cable passive cable so again this is the input so we connect the input to the CD player CD player right left and the output to this amplifier so right channel and the left channel and uh, the output goes to the speaker left speaker right speaker so now we can turn them on and give it a try Okay, so the power amp is on. You can see left, right? And we need to turn on this CD player. Whatever these inside there. So this one is power off, by the way. We can turn this light. So we are only, only going through passively. Make sure we turn the volume down. Don't scare ourselves. Play. Okay, let's uh, fast forward to another track. Let's let's control the volume first. You see, work very nice. So.
very high quality speakers and if you're interested in hi-fi stuff uh, stay tuned and uh, we will post more uh, information thank you very much bye